Hey, Bulldogs. It's Mrs. Harris, your reading coach. As you know, I absolutely love reading. And February is a perfect month for things that we love. I have some fun things for you and your class to participate in this month to celebrate the love of reading. Each week, I'm going to send your teacher a read aloud. You and your class can listen to the story and just enjoy some of my most favorite books. If you'd like, I have a challenge for you to complete as well. If you or your class complete my challenge, you'll enter into a drawing to earn treats for your class. I hope you enjoy the books that I've picked out for you. This week's book is called The Paper Bag Princess. I know you're probably thinking, ugh, another princess book? But just wait a second. Elizabeth isn't your typical princess. Listen to this story and find out why. The Paper Bag Princess by Robert Munch. Art by Michael Marchenko. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle burned all her clothes with his fiery breath and carried off Prince Ronald. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing she could find that was not burnt was a paper bag. So she put on the paper bag and followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he left a trail of burnt forests and horses' bones. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged on the door. The dragon stuck at his nose out of the door and said, Well, a princess. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Go away. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait! shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you are the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? Yes said the dragon. Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up ten forests with your fiery breath? Oh, yes, said the dragon, and he took a huge deep breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up fifty forests. Fantastic, said Elizabeth, and the dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up one hundred forests. Magnificent, said Elizabeth, and the dragon took another huge breath. But this time, nothing came out. The dragon didn't even have enough fire left to cook a meatball. Elizabeth said, Dragon, is it true that you can fly around the world in just ten seconds? Why, yes, said the dragon, and jumped up and flew all the way around the world in just ten seconds. He was very tired when he got back, but Elizabeth shouted, Fantastic! Do it again! So the dragon jumped up and flew around the whole world in just 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk. And he lay down and went straight to sleep. Elizabeth whispered very softly, Hey, dragon. 
the dragon didn't move at all. She lifted up the dragon's ear and put her head right inside. She shouted as loud as she could, Hey, dragon! The dragon was so tired he didn't even move. Elizabeth walked right over the dragon and opened the door to the cave. There was Prince Ronald. He looked at her and said, Elizabeth, you are a mess. You smell like ashes, your hair is all tangled, and you're wearing a dirty old paper bag. Come back when you're dressed like a real princess. Ronald, said Elizabeth, your clothes are really pretty, and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you're a bum. They didn't get married after all. I hope you enjoyed that story. I told you Elizabeth isn't like your typical princess. Quite the opposite, actually. So I told you, I have a challenge for you. If you're in kindergarten, first or second grade, I want you to compare Elizabeth to a traditional princess. Think like Cinderella, The Little Mermaid, Sleeping Beauty. How is Elizabeth like those princesses? How is she different? This is a Venn diagram. Your teacher could print it out for you. If you want to do it on your own, you could write it on the whiteboard and add sticky notes and take a picture of it. Or just write with dry erase marker and take a picture with your class. Send it to me and you'll get entered into a drawing for a class prize. Now, if you're in third, fourth, or fifth grade, I want you to think about Elizabeth's character traits. I know you've been learning about those. What evidence do you have of that trait? Remember, she's not your typical princess. Your teacher can print this out for you and you can complete it on your own. Or you can do it as a class. Do it on the whiteboard, on a chart paper, on a piece of paper. Take a picture of it with your class and send it to me, and your class will be entered into a drawing for a class treat. Remember, this is totally optional. You could just have enjoyed this story just for fun. Just for the love of reading. I can't wait to see what story we check out next week. Happy reading!